We're taking flight with the newest eye in the sky. They may be small, but these flying robots pack a lot of technological punch. And an aspiring aviator and remote controlled pilot gets a rare chance to experience tomorrow's technology today. My name is Thomas Ryan, and today I'm going to make science fiction a reality. Micro Aerial Vehicles, or MAVs, are a new class of remotely operated airborne robots. This future tech is already being put to use in the Air Force. A host of MAVs have come to play a critical role in aerial surveillance, especially in inhospitable environments. The future is looking up as these aerial marvels are rapidly being engineered smaller and more high-tech. Today, Thomas Ryan, a 16-year-old remote-controlled airplane hobbyist and pilot in training, is visiting Simi Valley, California. I have been building RC planes from kits, put them together to form a plane, add in your own engine and servos and receiver, and you're ready to fly. Thomas has been granted clearance to a remote test range to see how some of the world's most advanced MAV technology is being pushed toward even greater heights. Hello, Hi. I'm John from Air Environment. I'm Thomas, pleasure. I'm Paul. I'm an engineer uh, for Air Environment and doing design and analysis. And I'm one of the field operators. First up is the Raven. Weighing in at 4.2 pounds, it has a wingspan of 4.5 feet. Hand launch, the Raven can fly at 30 to 60 miles per hour for up to 80 minutes. Often equipped with both color and infrared night vision cameras, the Raven performs aerial recon for ground operations and accurately identifies targets for combat or search and rescue. So this is the uh, ground control station. So this is where we do all the work from the operator point of view. So we have a video screen in here with a daylight hood. We have notice a joystick and some other buttons which allow us to change different modes and functions. We'd be heads down like this and we'd be seeing exactly what the airplane is seeing. So the control surface setup here looks pretty similar to RC planes. Are they just servo operated electrically? Basically, the autopilot keeps the wings level and then the operator steers the aircraft around can program it to fly a certain altitude and it will maintain that altitude for us. All right, so it flies on its own and that leaves you to operate the cameras on it? That's correct. So, can we see it fly? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead. Operated by a two-man ground team or programmed for GPS-based autonomous flight, the Raven improves airborne surveillance because of its stealth, durability, and range. There's various levels of control that we can give the airplane, and right now he's kind of at a medium level. It's doing some of the thinking for itself. So you can control certain aspects of its exactly. flight. So here it should uh, be coming in for auto land. It comes down basically vertically to make it easy to land, and there it is. Is this supposed to come apart like that? Um, yeah, it's basically designed to, uh, to absorb a lot of the loads on impact and basically disassemble on landing. Next is the WASP, one of the smallest MAVs used by the Air Force. Its wingspan is less than two and a half feet, and it weighs in at under a pound. So this is the WASP. So it's about half the size of the Raven. It's at about half the range, half the duration. It's backpackable. It's very hard to see in the air and very quiet. It can stay up for about 45 minutes. Uh, typical missions, about 30 minutes. On uh, most RC planes like this, I mean, a long flight's considered like 20 minutes. Yeah, good point. The WASP operates on missions at altitudes of 50 to 1,000 feet. Yeah, I see some activity over there. Can you go fly it over that? Yeah, if you look here on the laptop, you can actually see sort of a, a Google Maps imagery, and you can see the airplane is here in that triangle. So you know exactly where that airplane is, and then the video is overlaid on top of that, so you know what it's looking at. And here we're recording it onto a, on a, onto a videotape. What kinds of reconnaissance uses does it have? Can you see what's happening down the road? Looks like there's some trucks over there. 
Yeah, so we've got a pretty good image on, on what kind of vehicles those are, um, what's going on around them, if people are standing outside of them or not, what those people might be doing. Okay, okay well that's about it. Uh, sort of the same as Raven. Uh, it looks like it'll be ready to fly again soon. Okay. Yep. Well, my favorite thing about the MAVs was the auto land feature. I thought it was really clever how they can land it in just like a few square feet and how it could come down with absolutely no damage. Oh, thanks for showing me all this, guys. I had a really incredible time today. All this stuff was just fantastic. Well, I'm glad you liked it, Thomas. Yeah, it was great having you out here with us. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.